Hi, I'm Christina Bausch. I'm a physical therapist here at Rebound Physical Therapy in Topeka, Kansas, and I specialize in treating pelvic floor disorders. Um, so today what I wanted to do was talk a little bit about what biofeedback is and how it could be beneficial for people who are experiencing pelvic floor dysfunctions. You may have heard the term biofeedback, maybe not. Sometimes people are referred specifically to physical therapy for biofeedback training. So I thought today I'd just talk a little bit about what biofeedback is and how that may be helpful for you um, with what's going on. Um, so what biofeedback is, is it is it's really just giving a way to give you more information about what your body is, are, is, is doing. Um, so typically in pelvic floor therapy, what we are monitoring are the pelvic floor muscles. So the muscles down in the bottom of the pelvis, um, which should contract and relax at appropriate times. So some conditions that we may use biofeedback for could be things like incontinence, it could be um, pelvic floor prolapse issues, it could be constipation, um, it, it really could just be, any, it could be pain, um, so it could really just be any, any type of pelvic floor dysfunction that is going on that we need to get you more information about what your muscles are doing at any given time. Um, so in, in some of those conditions, we may be focusing on how to strengthen the muscles. So how do we properly get those muscles to contract and engage and um, provide more support for the bladder of the bowels? Um, so in those conditions, what we're looking for is we are, so what biofeedback is, is we look at a computer screen and we've got electrodes that are um, either hooked up to the, the skin of the perineum area or it may be an internal sensor that goes internally, kind of like a tampon, that is picking up what your muscles are doing. And it's sending that um, electrical activity to the computer and then you can see it on a computer screen so that when your muscles contract, you can see on that screen or that graph that the the line goes up knowing that you're contracting your muscles and then when you relax we see that go back down. Um, so that's really helpful to be able to tell if you're getting the right muscles. So sometimes, um, especially if those muscles maybe are weak or it's really hard to coordinate, um, we might be trying to compensate and use different muscles. So sometimes the leg muscles may be trying to activate more or the abdominal muscles and that's not really what we're going for. So we can pinpoint that yes, you are getting those right muscles that we're trying to target and it helps for you to be able to see that on the screen and your brain get that immediate feedback as far as yes, I am getting what I just did right at that second was what I was trying to do. Um, so that can be really helpful in, in getting those muscles to um, gain that confidence and coordination that the, they're doing it correctly. Um, Another scenario that we use biofeedback for is that sometimes in certain conditions, those muscles may not be resting at rest. So if you think about you know, my arm muscle here, when it's relaxed, it should be pretty much shut off. But for some people, when they think they're relaxed, they may actually be holding tension in those muscles all the time. So by monitoring those pelvic floor muscles, with the biofeedback, we can see that, oh, you're, when you think you're relaxed, your muscles are actually still um, actually working. And so being able to see that and register that on that computer screen and make that connection helps them learn how to shut those muscles off and find that more relaxed state. Um, and then it can also be used um, in situations where maybe you're experiencing constipation and those muscles should be able to shut off. So if here's their normal relaxed, they should be able to shut off even more than that when you try to go to the bathroom. And so for some people, they can't figure out how to get those muscles to relax more than their, just their normal relaxed state. Um, and so we can work with that using the biofeedback monitoring, does that very minute fine tuning of getting that little bit of relaxation um, to help them learn how to do that process correctly. Um, so those are some examples of how biofeedback can be used in the clinic. And um, so if you're experiencing any symptoms or you are referred fr from your doctor um, or have heard biofeedback mentioned but really weren't sure if you were um, willing to try it, um, I would really encourage you to. It, it can definitely be beneficial 
Um, and even if you're just struggling with, okay, I don't even know if I'm getting my muscles coordinated correctly, it can really be a great tool to help give you some more confidence and help improve your symptoms. Definitely reach out to me if you have any questions or feel like that's something you'd like to learn more about. Thanks.